So we're out here on somebody else's install. So pardon the things that don't look so good because he's a general who uh, actually doesn't know anything about heating or cooling. Uh, he is learning the very hard way like all do to make a buck. But um, so we came down here and my son got rid of the five feet of loop-de-loop -loop he had here and redid the wires. Uh, remember when you put your wires and you have your caps on them and you have it twisted many times put your heat shrink on them we are right by the ocean the ocean if you go on the top of this hill and look straight down the fog with the salt water comes up here so it wreaks havoc on corrosion if you have some of the marine grade spray that you put on electrical terminals when you're putting in a brand new installation for electronics spray everything down with the anti-corrosion sealing for all your connectors because these all become green and crusty up here in the salt water. Um, like I said, you don't want these facing down because you don't want water or condensate or any rain that gets inside be like this and fill up with water in your contacts. So you always put them in an upright position going inside there so water doesn't get there. You could see the copper through there just a little bit and it's nice and shiny and bright. And uh, you ever see these things and they're all corroded and black or green inside, you know you uh, don't have good connection. Uh, it's 75, they like 75 degrees inside. That's what they keep the house at. And this is a cheap coil that they put out here, AC only. So there's no heat strip on this thing to get rid of the refrigerator system. And it's gonna be first startup. And if you look back in here, so this is a gas fired heater. Uh, furnace so you have the gas fired and all i did was attach for the guy he ran all this this is not me uh, all i did was fix his problems and uh, get it working of course this is wrong i mentioned that in other videos because you see that green down there that's where it's supposed to be attached not to the secondary which is the red plug uh, and this is wrong it's supposed to be a two inch drop and it's not uh what and we won't even go and look, check out all the asbestos beautiful asbestos this is all asbestos hardboard up here and i see they cut out a lot and uh, i bet you the guy didn't wear a mask when he cut it out either stuff i grew up with as a kid and yeah don't even go over some of the issues here but um so the heat is constantly boiling out this coil you know, with 140 degree air, 160 degree air, whatever. Um, so there's no refrigerant in on that coil. All this, all this line down here, this is all warm inside here. It's warm upstairs. Inside here, it's like 72 degrees. At nighttime outside, and this morning, it's 53 degrees. So where does the refrigerant migrate when you have a heated coil and all your line set is heated at 70 degrees? But outside, it's 53, 52 degrees. So what happens is all the refrigerant out of the coil and the lye set all migrate back. And plus, this is a brand new build, a brand new install. So all the refrigerant is in here. Even though you release the refrigerant into the line set and you have them open, there's no heater on here to leave on for a few hours to heat up the compressor warmer than inside. So all the refrigerant comes back and condenses as a liquid back in here. And that's why you see me doing this before I do its first initial startup. Even though I usually don't do anyone else's work that their install, I don't like to work on their equipment or anything like that. I'm bailing somebody out, out uh, charging a hefty price for it on this one. And uh, doing the true flow grid, trying to give them a fix to fix their return. Uh, problem they have really high static pressure they had a 0.3 over the filter and they have a uh, over a 0.3 and over a 0.3 static into return so i'm gonna design out the fix for them for that and if i could get this up over 75 degrees that's inside i know i've cooked out the refrigerant from here and got some of it back inside uh, on first startup and the guys go, oh, scrolls are tough. They can ingest some liquid and they could do that. Just one time won't hurt it. Well, even though it's not my future equipment, I don't want to risk being that guy who has to make that sad call on a startup. And that's about it. This is about as simple as you could get. You can't ask for anything more simple than this other than, yes, you can. 
if you had a three phase connection and you arrow the motors were three phase the condenser fan was three phase and the compressor was three phase you would not need a capacitor then you can make this even simpler you could just have a contactor only see you guys later